Let's go out to Maryland for our final call of the evening, and we'll talk with uh, Stefan. Hey, Stefan. Hey, Andrew. How are you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing good. What's on your mind? Yeah, I want to know exactly what does it mean to, like, you know, in order to have a real relationship with God, you need to fear him. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean in the literal sense of being scared of him, but what is it? What is your take on that? What does it mean to fear him in, yeah. in a healthy way? Right. Well, people will pop around to different Bible verses. You know, they'll say, well, the Bible says, uh, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So we should be fearing and trembling about God every day. Well, actually, it's talking about uh, a reverence and an awe, having an awe, and it even goes on to say why. Here's why because it is the God of the universe. Are you kidding me? It is the God of the universe that is at work inside of you. And so with reverence and awe and respect for that reality that the Spirit of God himself resides inside of me, just beneath my flesh and bones and everything that I call me, Jesus literally actually lives there. Wow. Uh, so with reverence and awe and respect for that, I work out my salvation. It's not working for your salvation. It's simply working out what you've already got worked in. God has already worked in. Now work out what God has worked in. And as you do it, have a reverence and awe. And so that's what it means to fear the Lord, fearing the Lord being the beginning of wisdom, it doesn't mean you're supposed to be scared to death. I mean, God's not the author of fear, and the Apostle John writes, and he says, God's perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves punishment. If you're scared of God, it's because you think he's going to punish you for your sins. He's mad at you. He's distant from you. He's going to punish you. One day he's going to judge you for your sins. Well, the reality is, if you're in Christ, he's taken away your sins. He's removed your sins. He keeps no record of your sins. He remembers your sins no more. So that's what we need to know. The reality is, we are totally forgiven people. There's no condemnation for us. We're free from judgment and free from punishment. Jesus said, whoever believes in me is not judged. Whoever does not believe in me stands judged already. So we'll appear at the final judgment, but it's going to be exciting. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Paul says we get to judge angels. We get to join God in the judging. We get to judge the world, and we get to judge angels. And then Paul says, how much more things of this life? We should be negotiating things of this life. Look at us. We're holy and righteous and blameless, and we're going to judge angels. Wow. So we can look forward to that. As far as being afraid of God, look, on one hand we can say he's the Lord God. He's Lord of everything, the King of kings, the Creator. And we have a, a natural respect and reverence and awe. But at the same time, we can say, he's my daddy father. He's my Abba. I'm family. I'm in. I belong. I'm born of his spirit. And that's incredible that Jesus is not ashamed to call me his brother. I mean, wow, the Bible really says that. So um, I hope that helps, my friend. There's, there's the word fear, but when it comes up for a believer in their relationship with God, it's always referring to a healthy respect, a reverence, and awe. I mean, I've seen things out there that just make my stomach turn. There's, you know, popular teachers. One guy has a video who's, you know, the, there's a woman in bed. She's laying in bed, and the the room is filling with water, and she's basically drowning in the water, thrashing around in this bedroom that's filled with water all the way to the ceiling. And then the narrator comes on and says, this is what it means to fear the Lord. And you just want to say, wait, hit, let's hit the pause button here. What the heck are you talking about? We're not supposed to be terrified of God. There's nothing healthy about that. When you realize what Jesus Christ has done for you, it gives you a boldness and a confidence and an assurance 
that you're okay with him. You're okay with God. You're at peace with him. And in fact, you're one spirit with the Lord. You're on his team. So it's high time we send very clear messages to the Christian world about how great Christianity really is. Christianity is off the charts incredible. It's the only belief system in the world by which you get to be made right freely at no cost to yourself. You're completely forgiven forever, no matter what. You're let off the hook, freed from any standard. You're dead to the law. You don't have to try to meet that benchmark. You're given a new heart, a new spirit, a whole new identity. You're put on God's team and put in his family. I mean, what's not to like about this? There's no worm in the apple. There's no fly in the ointment. There's nothing to ruin it. It's good news from start to finish. Thanks for your call, Stefan. Reach out to us again anytime.